Hey, I believe that France is a cowardly nation. That is a bold statement. Explain further if you please. The French did not participate in the Iraq war because they believed it would cost too much to employ their military there. The French foreign ministry claimed that it would take massive troop deployments in order to stop Muslim theocracies, and they were too chicken to commit to this conflict. They wussed out of this great opportunity to bring republicanism to Iraq. Also, they never fought in World War II either. What about Germany, Canada, and New Zealand? Are they cowards because they knew the whole war was a waste of time and because their generals and statesmen knew that the West did not truly want to win this war and that Muslim opposition would result in terrorist acting regardless of how Al-Qaeda was in it or not? Also, no nation has formally declared war against Iraq and after the US and UK coalitions left in 2011, Iraq is still a war zone and nothing was accomplished. It sounds to me like France and other nations made a wise decision by having nothing to do with this country. Those other countries are different because they take baths, they have safe sex, and they are not girly like those French people are. What about French people that bathe regularly, teach and respect sex for what it is, and French men and women who are proudly heterosexual in their country? And the French are a highly patriotic nation and respect their military and have won more wars than they have lost. The U.S. has lost the Vietnam War, we are losing the Afghan War now, and we have the highest rate of teenage pregnancy in the world, are we cowards? They do not count, they are fake. How so? They just are. Have you ever met a French person before? Do you know anything about French society or culture? No, I just listen to what the news tells me on the TV. Then you are uneducated and highly ignorant of what this nation has done. They helped win our independence back in the 1780s. We have always had a peaceful and warm relationship with this country. Now, granted there were some diplomatic and cultural frictions between our peoples and past wounds like that undeclared pirate war in 1798 and the and XYZ affairs that went on prior to Napoleon's intervention in 1803 but this is the past and we have both shook hands and parted as friends since that has happened. Wow, you know so much, why is that? Because, I read books and educate myself on these matters that and I am a proud francophone too. What's that? A French speaker, and a member of the culture. I use a bidet instead of toilet paper, I drink fizzy water, eat poutine and frog's legs often and I listen to Zydeco music often too. French society is so cool too, because they hate things like familial indifference, malnutrition, and laziness, things that the US can learn from. And they are not cowards simply because their sensibilities or national decisions offend us. Also, just because a culture is different from our own does not give us the right to hate anybody. They are a sovereign and great country in their own right and can choose to do whatever they want to. Just because the US is a superpower does not mean we get to tell the rest of the West what to do. What about when they lost World War II and the Vichy regime assisted the Nazis? How was that honorable? Only a small minority of French paramilitary renegades supported fascist German and Italian forces in World War II. Also, Free French forces and Mered colonials in the Free French forces were the fourth largest contributor to bringing down the Axis in 1945 and these forces also led occupational zones in respect and thankfulness of helping liberate their own country back from the Nazis and helping the Austrian and German peoples get back on their feet after the war ended. And if you want to be technical about it Vichy was a puppet state controlled by the Nazis and most French who fought in those forces were coerced into it for fear of death. How would you feel if Hitler had the gun to your head? France and her colonial forces lost 217,600 people, not to mention the French Canadians who fought too to bring Hitler down. Get your facts straight you stupid oaf, France has won more wars than it has lost and they have had the fourth largest colonial empire in the world, you just don't get that having a weak or cowardly people. This form of discrimination against one of our greatest friends and allies disgusts me greatly. I am so sorry, I did not know. I will never look at another Gallic shrug again. Good, and also no nation is perfect. Maybe we ought to look at other countries through their eyes and hear history and the world through their ears before we go on hating and judging people. 
This video is dedicated to all the Makui forces who gave their lives for a free France from 1939 to 1945 and also dedicated to the memory of Stepan Hussle for his bravery for the Alsatian cell in his country. May God guide your soul to heaven where it belongs good sir. Talking smack from animation land, long live the United States and France, two of the best friends the world has ever seen.